What's up you guys? As requested by your boy Me Too, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of fail stacking and enchanting. This is how I'm preparing for Valencia. I'm gonna be pushing my gear to 468 by the end of the video. So let's go ahead and jump right to it, all right? So first, I'm gonna start by showing you guys my fail stacking methods. Uh, I've got a couple different methods combined that I use in order to actually generate fail stacks. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up uh, that way you guys aren't watching me do this real time. So here you'll actually see me buying Talos armor. I found a plus 13 and I'm buying the other Talos items that are plus zero so that I can repair the durability once I start using this as a fail stack item. I'm also using a few cheap accessories that are replaceable. I do not do reblast because once I get plus 15 on an item, I sell it so that I make my returns simply because I have a lot of stones and I don't really need to keep these plus 15s. You also will see me pulling out a couple of accessories that I got as drops that don't really sell. I'm just smashing these because I just don't really need them. Um, they're, they're pretty minuscule. Um, they're good to start off a good fail stack with, uh, just like I said, because I, I'm not gonna use them. I'm not gonna try and actually use fail stacks to get these leveled because I don't need them. They don't sell for a lot. They're just not worth the fail stacks. They're not worth much of anything. So because of that, here they are being used as fodder for fail stacks. Accessories have a very high fail chance um, so they're pretty easy fail stack item. This particular piece of armor does end up going to plus 14, even though I'm spamming durability, but you know, that's the name of the game. But you know, after it does go plus 14, I keep smashing my stones and I get to the fail stack that I need. Um, obviously, you know, I ran out of durability. Um, so repair max durability and go back to uh, smashing stones into the piece. So I got to 16 fail stacks, which that is a, uh, that's a prize stack. Um, that's a start of a prize stack. So I'm gonna keep that on this character. So I've actually just switched that fail stack item over to another alt character, 053, uh, another wizard that I'm planning on using in Valencia. But anyway, uh, pulling out the accessories that I don't need from the bank and I'm gonna start fail stacking on him. I'm gonna go for a higher fail stack this time, um, but I'm gonna use basically the same method. Start with the accessories that I don't need, and then I'm gonna go into the armor piece. Same armor piece that I was just using, the uh, Talos chest piece. Um, we're just gonna start smashing. As you can see, this armor piece is cursed, so I got to 20 fail stacks pretty easily. Uh, it wasn't too difficult. In this next clip, I'm actually preparing for a 30 stack, so I went ahead and preemptively just bought a whole bunch of Talos armor. Um, I bought, I, I usually buy 10 at a time. I'm pretty confident that I can go ahead and get this on this plus 14, so just run over and do a full repair on it at the blacksmith. After that full repair, we pull out the black spirit and we start smashing stones. Again, this talus armor is cursed. Once you find a good fail stack item, I can typically get a, at least one to two good amount of fail stacks off of a plus 14 fail stack item. This is a fail, th this is how I fail stack. I find a good item and I build stacks on it. So I'm just smashing stones in it at this point and I get the stack that I want, which is a 30 stack. So at this point, I am going for my last piece of try gear on my main. Before I show you finishing up my gear, let me just show you the amount of fail stacks that I've built. I have a 50, a 16, a 20, and a 30. So before I took this clip, 
I had actually a, a bought a costume off the marketplace. I sniped it earlier and then it went ahead and extracted it. So here I am smashing my granule gloves, my duo gloves um, on the sturdy stack while utilizing crons. Make sure that you're clicking the cron each time you go or the crons will deactivate and you will be salty if you downgrade. It took me six tries to get these duo gloves to try, which is a little higher than normal. My other two pieces of granola I actually one tapped to try. But as you can see here, your boy Soul has hit full try and I'm prepared for Valencia, ready to go grind some good mobs. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like, a comment, hit the sub button. If you need any help, drop a comment below. Peace and love. Thanks for watching.